I just feel like I'm naturally burned on all these tests. Why do you say that? I just don't feel comfortable with them. I'm trying to leave a funeral. I, I know, I know you're having a hard day. I'm, I'm sorry about that. I do want to make sure you're safe to drive, though. You drove your car into a ditch a very long ways. On, and no one else is doing that. Just look around yeah, at the I other cars. That. That's, I understand that. That's why we're here, right? We're just trying to determine that you're not impaired. Two, three, four. Yeah. Don't fall over. Better. Just so you know, my camera's on. It's recording. You okay? What's that? You okay? Is it? Yeah. Not hurt anywhere? No. Don't need an ambulance? No. Do your head or anything? Oh, what happened? Uh, I just uh, had a spider. I was going down the street and driving, 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 and this pretty full blown spider was creeping across the, uh, whatever this would be, my, uh, my right, your left cheek. An eye area, uh -huh. and I just and before I knew it, I was, you know. Oh, geez. Yeah, it was like an instantaneous. How thing. fast were you going? Oh, not fast at all on these streets because I was just heading up to a little barbecue here. It was just a like I'm leaving a, a funeral. Oh, geez. Yeah, not a very great ideal situation. Oh, sorry to hear that. Um, and since you're down there, you want to grab your insurance and registration? Yeah. You know how I can get go about getting this pulled out? Yeah, we're gonna get you a tow truck. Okay. Um, I have the, AAA. Yeah. Do you have um, the insurance registration you can grab from your yeah. glove box? And then I'll have you just jump out so that way you're not stuck down there. So how many drinks have you had? None. Zero? Yeah. No no alcohol whatsoever? Zero. Taking any drugs or anything like that? No. Okay. Would you do some field sobriety tests to just let us know that you're good to drive? Pull this thing out. We feel comfortable putting you on the road yeah. again. Do I smell like alcohol? Because I drink no alcohol. But no, you just... Um, you know, precautionary, you crash your car in a ditch and uh, three hours to get to a funeral starting yeah. at seven this morning. Yeah. Funeral ends up like this, so I can imagine. Yeah, rough day. The medications you're on, are you supposed to be driving? Yeah. It's okay. Absolutely. It doesn't make you busy or. I, my doctors and I have yeah, very right. candid conversations as to what to watch out for, and you know. Yeah. And, you, and you're allowed to be driving? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, this was a freak. Thing. And I mean, I wish I had handled it a lot better, you know, yeah. but it really felt like as soon as that. As soon as that, you can't really see it up here, you know, that, that first three to six inches. Yeah. But it seems at some point there between six and eight inches is a heavy uh, slot, you know, whether it, yeah. whether it gets slippery or something okay. like that. Well, let's get off the roadway. I'll just a car doesn't schmuck us. Any reason you can't walk in a straight line stand on one foot? Depends on how many bells and whistles we're talking. Just walking in a straight line, turning around. That sounds pretty nice reasonable. Stuff. Okay. Um, and then... Do you wear contacts or glasses? I wear glasses sometimes, but yeah. not, not for seeing. My, no, my seeing is fine. Yeah. You're seeing is fine? Okay. Alrighty, I'll have you stand right there. Right. And then face me. Right where? Right over here. Uh, That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Feet wait, together. Wait, rock. Just right there is fine. Feet together. Like so. Hands on your side. What I want you to do is place your... Uh, Right foot directly in front of your left, heel to toe. Heel to toe. Okay, I want you to hold this position while I demonstrate and explain the test to you. Do not start the test until I tell you to begin. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. When I tell you to begin, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps down an imaginary line coming out of your left, uh, right foot. When you get to nine, you're going to take a series of small steps pivoting on your planted foot to get yourself turned around. Hang on. Can we just do a breath Well, we're just going through the. the Standard item feels of riding tests. Yeah. It's the well, same one. Like, I mean, I can't do this stuff, but I can blow on a breathalyzer. Why, why can't you get this over with? Why can't you do this? Because it's like, I mean, be real, guys. These are not natural things. Yeah. So, they're so standardized it tests. I it, know. It won't, standardized it won't show tests. me if you consumed alcohol, but we will, it will show me if you're impaired or not. Okay. So, well, and that's just what okay. I want to make sure is whether right. or not you're safe sure. to drive. Okay. okay. All right. So, get back into that position with the heel to toe. Arms at your side. Sorry, I did that backwards. So your left foot's going to be planted, your right foot's going to be in front of it, heel to toe. There you go. All right, now hold this position. Do not start until I tell you to begin. Do you understand? Okay. When I tell you to begin, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps down an imaginary line coming out of your left foot. When you get to nine, you're going to take a series of small steps pivoting around. You get turned around, and you're going to take nine more, nine more heel to toe steps down that same line coming the other way. It'll look like this. One, two, three. One, two, three, and so on until you get to nine. I did three, I want you to do nine. When you start the test, do not stop until you are finished. 
Hang on, can you get back into the position? Mm -hmm. What position? Yeah, don't, don't start, start until he tells you to, to begin. Yeah. They can't shoot me up with something to tell whether I'm on something or not. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Well, they're, well, they're standardized tests. We're yep. just trying to make sure you're not there. I'm trying to leave a funeral. I, I know, I know you're having a hard day. I'm, I'm sorry about that. I do want to make sure you're safe to drive, though. Yeah, safe to drive. I mean, yeah. you can't shoot me up. Just what, this over I don't even know what that means. Like take my blood draw or something. Yeah. Or, uh, well, you well, if you're not impaired, test. there's no reason, more, no reason for us to do that. So I'm just well, trying to get no to that. reason for you to do this. If I to just prove, because all I this would, would do is say we think. Yeah. Now He's we saying that the, the blood is more severe than just us looking at and starting yeah. here at a very minimal, just, invasive thing of just yeah. a few tests yeah. that would show right. us impairment. I just feel impaired. like I'm naturally burned on all these tests. Why do you so, say that? I just don't feel comfortable with them. Okay. So do you not want to continue? I mean, it's not that I don't want to continue. They're, they're I, voluntary. I can't make you do them, so it's, it's totally up to you. And then can I blow a breathalyzer or something? I'll, I'll give you an opportunity to blow into a PBT, but... What, so so if, if we were to stop here, then what do I have to do to prove my innocence at this point? Prove at this point, innocence. I'm trying to determine whether or not you're impaired. That's so what he's is, explaining to you okay. is the test, All so right, we can, well, we can check. Do, I, I know, but I'm, you know... So you, you drove your car into a ditch a very long ways, on, and no one else... Is doing that. Just look around yeah, at the other car. That. So that's I understand that. That's why we're here, right? We're just trying to determine that you're not impaired, and we, we feel safe and comfortable putting you back on the roadway if we had to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, I understand you. Okay. All right, you may begin. Count your steps out loud. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, next test is a one leg stand. You can stand right there. Feet together, hands under your sides. Yep, just stop right there. Feet together. All right. Hold this position. Do not start until I tell you to begin. Do you understand? Keep your arms under your, at your sides. Okay. When I tell you to begin, you're going to lift one foot six inches off the ground, parallel in the ground. Do not put your foot down at any time. Keep your arms down at all, at, at all times. It'll look like this. 1,001. 1,002, 1,003, and so on until you, until you just stop. You understand? Okay. Don't fall over. You go by Alan or Al? Alan. Alan, okay. It's not exactly, you know. But... All right, you may begin. Six, six inches above your above the ground and point your toe. Count out by 1,000, so point your toe. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000. Four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand. You can do that. You done? Okay. Well. All right, so you want to take one of these just to make yeah, sure you're your under nice hard, steady blow, okay? Blow out. That's a suck in. Oh. That's a suck in. Yeah, I haven't even done these in so Blow into it. I appreciate you guys because yeah, there are a lot of fucking workers out here. Yes. You guys are the ones that are more men than I am. Mm -hmm. so, Alright. Oh, you guys already do? We're gonna, yeah, that's so, what our partner's working on. So. Oh, so oh. I just, hey, hey, Alan, come over here. So do you, do you have any mental health issues or anything that you struggle with? You know, things like that, but I don't, I mean, no. I'm pretty sharp. Yeah. Sharp. You, you're, you're aware of your surroundings, you know what's going on. Okay. Blade and me. Right. It's Steven, right? Mm -hmm. So here's the deal. Based on everything that I'm seeing here today, I don't believe that you're safe to operate a motor vehicle. I think you're in the influence of, of something. So right now you are going to be under arrest for DUI, okay? So Steven? Yeah, put your, put your hands behind your back, partner. Based on what? Based Based on our observations, we're, okay? We're seeing today, Here, okay? I, I don't want your cell phone to get broke, okay? Yeah, and I don't, how long is this going to last? Well, so we're just going to go down to the hospital, make sure you're okay. I'm just going to be honest with you. I, I think you've taken too many of your prescribed medications and you're impaired. Okay. And just because you're prescribed them doesn't mean that you are able to drive under the influence of them. But it also doesn't mean road. that okay. I'm all of a sudden locked up. Hang on, hang on. I'm so, read your rights, okay? So you're, yeah, you're under arrest for um, driving the vehicle can while impaired. Can I see impaired. my phone, please, so that they can be notified yep. that I am getting... Okay, listen to this deputy. We'll let you make a phone call. 
All right, you have the right to remain silent. Anthony say can use against in the court of law. You have the right. This I'm going to talk to your lawyer and have a present with you. Five one, welcome. One in custody. Yeah. Any questions? Or make any statements? Do you understand each of the rights of the client here? Yeah, this is kind so of So you mentioned that you want to give up a, a voluntary blood draw. Is that something you'd like to do? What what difference is it going to make at this point? It's going to show down the road whether you um, have I don't narcotics have... in your blood that would impair your driving or not. I don't know. So there's there's a form that I can read you. Um, yeah, you know, you put these things on, and all of a sudden it's like I don't know what I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to get out of your guys' face as soon as possible. Yeah. So. If you don't want to, that's fine. We're just going to apply for a warrant from a judge. For what? Your blood. Okay. And if I do want to, then what? Then we just voluntarily go to the hospital and grab a couple quick vials of your blood and go on from there. Happy. Man. Whatever you want to do, man. Yeah, there's a form that we'll go over. I'll, I'll read it to you, and then if you have any questions. I don't even think I have anything in my blood, so I don't know really what there could be.